Good morning, you guys. It is Monday, March 23rd, and welcome to day, I've lost count, but welcome to day whatever of my dirty house tour. First, just a daily vlog, but my house is dirty, so that's what we're gonna be doing today is um, tidying it up because it is driving me insane. So dirty, I am, I'm over the mess, and while I have the time in this quarantine, we're gonna clean it up. She just wants to move so bad, and she does, but she goes backwards, so. That's her current situation. I gave in and I picked her up, so we're going to make some breakfast. Right? You gonna make some breakfast? Little, little girl? I'm You're thirsty, baby? I have all this stuff in my living room because we are redoing our room. And so, I have this like big arm wall thing in my living room and it's driving me crazy. You thirsty? You thirsty, baby? You thirsty? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? We're still, well I'm not, but they are still all in their PJs because we're not going anywhere, but I just feel better when I get myself together for the day. I feel not so lazy and like there's a purpose for the day, which is cleaning, so I don't know. It just makes me feel better whenever I don't stay in my pajamas like I normally do. We're gonna make some breakfast real fast and I'll bring y'all to the table when we sit down. First things first, I'm gonna make me some coffee. What are you eating? Mommy. What are you eating? Mom. What are you eating? Lily. So I know there's not much for people to really do right now just because of the quarantine. Um, but this gives me some time to really organize. <laughs> Look at her in the back. <laughs> Uh, to really organize my house and get it straightened out because my room is a mess, my bathroom is a mess, so I just really need to organize my house. It is driving me nuts. What are some things y'all have done like during this time? Like whether it's like occupy your kids, Owen, or occupy yourself. Like what have y'all done to make this time like a lighter time in the world the other day we did like this tape wall on my fence in my backyard and i did like all different like shapes and stuff and the boys colored it in with chalk then we ripped all the tape off and it was super neat <clears throat> did you eat all your food oh I would. Here. Did you eat all your food? No. No. You didn't. You need to go eat your food. No. No, you need to go eat your food. Ethan, what are we going to do today? I'm going to sit. 
What? Here. <laughs> Here. That's not true. Not everybody. Not true. That's a good question. So how did y'all explain <coughs> to your kids about the virus? Like, what did you tell them? Like. I don't really know how to explain to them without creating fear for them. Like, you know, they don't want to ever go out into the world again. Okay, okay. Come, kids. Come, kids. So breakfast is over. And normally after this time, the boys either like watch TV or play with some toys real fast. Well, I clean up. <coughs> Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Huh? It's not daddy, baby. It's not daddy. <laughs> That's not daddy. Not daddy. He thinks the camera is FaceTiming. Dad. Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and like speed clean the kitchen really fast because it's not that dirty, but I'm gonna clean it real quick. Jump, jump, jump. No, you should sit there. Jump. Jump, sister. Jump, sister. Jump, baby girl. Jump. 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 <laughs> Look at my mess of the backyard. Seriously, these boys destroy it. But don't worry, mom will clean it. Mom will clean it. So, I just made the boys some lunch, and they're eating outside. Go. How is it? Go. Is it good? Go. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. in a, I'm in a baby chair. Why? Good. So yummy, Owen? Yummy. Is it yummy? yummy? What are you eating? What are you eating, Owen? Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Daddy. What a baseball bat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that I have a minute and the boys are occupied and don't need me at the moment, I can have a minute to talk. Something that's really like been bothering me lately is the fact that I have taken so much for granted before this quarantine, like a simple like park trip. Like my kids always ask to go to the park and I'm always like, no, no. no. We don't just take the time to like to go to the park whenever they just want to, you know? And now I'm like, man, I wish I could go to the park. I wish that was like sanitary enough right now in these circumstances just to go to the park. And my son's baseball has gotten canceled. So he's literally asked like at least three or four times last week if we could go to baseball. I'm like, mm, sorry, sweetheart. Like baseball is, is, closed until further notice and he doesn't understand i'm like people are sick and you know like we can't go out because we don't want to like spread the sickness he's like oh the people that are watching my baseball are sick i'm like kinda maybe i don't really know the unknown is what's scary to me honestly it's like we don't really know and i don't want to scare him and like put fear on the table for him and like be scared to go outside, you know? <sighs> Saturdays are normally my work days where 
I do weddings and I go do the hobby that I love to do. And now brides have canceled their wedding, which is super sad. Like I feel so bad for them. They've had to cancel their weddings that they've spent like countless of numbers of hours and money into this special day for them. And you know, now they've had to like cancel and some people don't even want to reschedule, you know, like they're like, I'm over it. I've already did it once and now I have to cancel my wedding to like postpone it and I have to do everything. Like move all my vendors, figure that out. And if they, the vendors that they want aren't available that day, they have to reschedule with someone else, find another vendor. It's just like, it's a big old mess, you know? So I feel really bad for the brides that have had to cancel their weddings. And now I'm just like, that was my joy. Like I liked, that was my hobby that I like to go do was my weddings. Thank God my husband still has a job and we were able to survive on his income. But now, like I'm out of a job for a little bit, which sucks, but it could be a whole lot worse, honestly. It could be. I'm really thankful that, um, that I do have support financially. And I just, I, I really just hurt for everyone that is going through this time in their businesses, the uncertainty that they're going through, the unknown that they're experiencing. I just wish like everyone has a way. And in the end, everyone will have a way, like God will provide and he'll, he'll figure it out for us, so. I'm not too concerned. I just, I feel the stress for other people, if that makes sense. Like I don't like when other people stress and it carries on to me and I stress for them and I just don't like that. I don't like when other people experience stress. I don't like when they are anything but happy. I just like when people are happy. I like to be happy. I experience my own stress, honestly, a lot more than I'd like to admit to, but everyone will get through this I pray, I really do. I pray about it all the time. But anyway, that's my spiel. These are thoughts that literally always go through my head, but I don't have an adult here to tell them to. I have children and they don't understand and I'm not gonna pour that onto them. So this is my outlet, speaking to you guys and having feedback. It really does give me something to like look forward to when I post my videos. I love reading the comments and like seeing other people's videos when they comment that they just like made a video just like mine. It makes me happy that we have a like opinions and there are people that do feel the same way I do. If y'all have any feedback or anything, make sure just to comment, like leave a comment about anything that you're thinking or you wanna get off your chest. I'm always here to listen and I love responding to comments, so don't be afraid to, don't be afraid to comment down below. Hi, I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Oh. Um. Um. We are upstairs in the loft trying to keep busy and out of Hunter's way so he can work on the bathroom. And I'm pooped from cleaning the kitchen. And I sprayed down the rug that's in my kitchen because it just had like simple little stains from being under the table. So I'm waiting for that to dry. Hopefully it takes my stains out. I don't know. We are gonna go over to my mom's house for a little bit to get out of the house. And I also need to bring her some eggs. So we're gonna go over there. It's like super sunny outside now. And it was really cloudy earlier. So that's cool. I'm wearing a long sleeve.
You ready? Hi, huh, sweetheart. You ready? Sure. I don't want to get sunburned. Yeah, we had a candle flip in, so it's like a Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Easton, go put that in the toy box right now. Go put it in the toy box. When you skip your nap, you try to fall asleep in the car. What are you doing? Pretty girl. Pretty girl. <laughs> Let me see. Headed home Boy. from Boy. my mom's house. Boy. Boy. It's now 8:45, way past the kids' bedtime. Boy. So we're going home and putting them to bed. No, we're so. not having It's too dark back there. <laughs> but yeah, we just went up there and um, played some basketball and ate some dinner. Thanks, mom, for spaghetti. Getting baths and going to bed. All right, guys. Well, we just got the boys down to bed. We gave them like a two minute bath, like super quick, because it is way past their bedtime. So. Um, now I'm feeding Parker and I'm about to put her down for bed and then call it a night because I'm exhausted. So yeah, I hope y'all did enjoy this fun little daily vlog. Um, there's not really much we can do lately just because we are stuck in our house. So I hope y'all did enjoy this video and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos of me and my family. Um, we enjoy filming these for you guys. So let me know if there's anything specific that y'all would like to see in my daily routine that I do with the kids. Um, yeah, just like this video if you're interested in more daily vlogs because they're fun to do. So I will see you guys in my next video. Stay happy, healthy, and safe, and I will catch y'all in another video. Bye, guys. Say hello.